Kurutz Investigative Isolator No. 1, Kurutz Central, one of the most fearsome prisons in Russia. The torture in Guantanamo Jail is child's play compared to what goes on in Investigative Isolator No. 1 in the city of Kurutz, located in Siberia. Prisoners are filled with dread when they get the news that they are about to be staged here. Torture and abuse have become an everyday practice here for a long time already. In order to beat a confession out of a person, the staff of the jail administration have or organized a veritable torture factory. Some prisoners are unable to survive the torture and die. Others are killed intentionally. This film features actual prisoners and their lawyers talking about this. They tied me up, threw me in a corner of a cell, inserted an electrical water heater coil up my rear passage, plugged it into an electrical outlet, and were saying, you better watch out, the heater coil might explode. They pulled my jeans off me, twisted me up like a pretzel, and stuffed a bottle in my anal orifice. The UBA, UBO employee, Igor Nikolaevich Levchuk, wound wires around my scrotum, and the other around the little finger of my left hand. After this, we, he began to turn the handle of this machine. Only by the way of torture, by the way of abuses, did they obtain confessions from the suspects, from the accused. They were raped by more senior prisoners. They dragged out 12, 14-year-old children naked, wearing nothing but underpants, onto the street, beat everybody up, sat them in prison transports and drove them off. What do you think? To season number one of Irkutsk, to jail for adults. Everybody was beating them, near the entire cell, even the operative, the counselor, and the corpse chief. Resident of the city of Angutsk, Sergei Alexandrovich Yevtsko, addressed himself to the head of the Investigative Committee of Russia, Alexander Pastruk, uh, and sent copies of his complaint to the editorial boards of several newspaper and civic organizations. On November 30th, 2010, I was detained on suspicion of the commission of a crime. Upon, upon arrival in OVJ4 under the Irkutsk Obelisk GUVD, they began to beat me. An especially active role in the beating of me was performed by investigator Matyadev. Matyadev was saying that Vladimir Putin had permitted obtaining truth and justice by any means. Information about what is taking place in Irkutsk CISO had been passed on to President Medvedev and head of the investigative committee, Bastrukhin. But not a thing is known as of yet about any measures with respect to curbing of the anything goes policy and punishing of the guilty.